An alternative source of energy, Utah's sun, could soon be generating lots of electricity for Southern California. In what could become a massive solar project, specially designed towers are now going up near the Great Basin in Delta. Ed Yates takes us to a spot in our western desert. Once built, these unique solar towers will follow Utah's desert sun as it moves across the sky. Like giant magnifying glasses, each dish will focus the sun's rays to heat exchangers that will pull off heat and convert it to steam. Steam will rocket fire these turbines that will drive the generators. Burning pieces of cardboard and wood show the intensity of the rays even from this residual magnification that hasn't even been focused yet. California Power Consortium has already bought into the first stage of this project. Phase one right now is for about 10 to 20 towers. Now imagine 700 acres out here with a thousand towers, each tower with four solar dishes. With each tower producing 75 to 100 kilowatts at a thousand towers, that's enough electricity for 50,000 homes in Southern California. It will travel from this side about five miles intersecting into the grid near the IPP plant. Panels on these dishes are made from inexpensive plastic material. These panels are built out of rolled plastic. And that's about as cheap as you can get. The Utah group holds patent rights on magnifying material that's impregnated inside the plastic. That will pay off in this desert, considered one of the best solar locations in the country. The advantage here is, is because you're higher up, you got less atmosphere to go through. Land here is a tenth the price of remote land in California. The whole facility costs about half what it would cost to build a coal-fired plant. No pollutants. No CO2 to worry about, you know, and everybody's happy and, and we're coming in at a better price than coal. The future for alternative energy sources, not bad for a start. Ed Yates near Delta. The Utah Group has a similar project in Texas with more on the drawing board in Nevada and Arizona. Australia, Korea and China are also considering facilities.